Giacomo Lemos, four years older, two inches taller. Billy Swanson cuts to make the heavyweight limit of 266 pounds. He enjoys a sizable advantage in weight. Giacomo Lemos, five inch reach advantage in the arms and two inch reach advantage in the legs. Let's remind the fans tuning in how this competition works. Four fights in a night, that means four winners. They're narrowed down to two finalists. Then our celebrity panel and you, the fans, get to cast a vote. And our winner appears in the 2022 PFL season. Laura next to the cage says it's round number one. Marcos Perez inside the cage, ready to get these heavyweights started. Ready, ready, fight. And away we go, touch of the gloves. Lemos in the red corner. Swanson with the push kick in the gray trunks. Right hand lands for Lemos. And immediately Swanson grabs a hold of the Viking. Yeah, he's pressuring, pressuring him up against the cage. And, you know, he, he did say that he said a lot of people sleep on his athleticism. And, and watching his fights, he really is sneaky athletic. He's very fast, he's very flexible, and he's very tough as well. Well, it's not like MMA fans are completely unfamiliar with the idea of a large mulleted man being underestimated, <laughs> but very dangerous. Big Sexy trying to channel a little bit of that Roy Nelson energy, but right now Lemos has him pressed against the cage. Yeah, and, and Lemos really has a lot of offense, Sean. Excellent grappling background, comes from that judo jiu-jitsu background, but he's got heavy hands as well. Ooh. That knee oh, sure. went low. You could hear the thud. Swanson groans his disapproval. And we'll pause the clock to let him recover. Oh, there it is. Yep. Accurate, but in the wrong spot. Unfortunate development in the early goings here of round number one. Swanson will take his time recovering. Yeah, as he should. He's got five minutes to recover from that. That was a brutal one. Randy, the low blow notwithstanding, what are you seeing in the early goings of this heavyweight bout? Well, I, I think Billy Swanson was smart. He stayed outside of kicking range, and when it was time, he closed all the way into clinch range. A big, long guy like the Viking, Giacomo, you got it. You can't stand in that range of exchanges with a guy that long and that strong. Uh, it will be a short night. So I, I think so far, Billy's done a good job of getting where he needs to be to survive that storm. Vitor, how do you stay focused in this moment with the pause? Yes, the, the pause is... That can be bad or can be very good. So you have to stick active. You gotta get your mind right. You gotta be moving. And he was looking for that strike on the tie. I can hear the corner, but you know, just he missed just for inch and then went to the place that's not too good. And it's hard to stay standing. So I know that pain. It's, it's kind of hard. Well, good sign. Now you see Swanson back to his feet. But that could still really slow you down in a fight, and, and Swanson needs to make sure he's taking the proper time to make sure when this fight restarts, he's going to be re ready to go. I've seen a lot of guys kind of get in there a little too early. They're not 100%, and then they pay for it. So hopefully Swanson's okay. Swanson walking it off and says he is good to go. So we will get a restart here shortly. Only one minute and 10 seconds gone. Giacomo Lemos touches the gloves. Underway once again. Leg kick there from Swanson and a combination backs him up. Dives down and grabs both legs. Nice defense so far by Giacomo Lemos. Controlling the back of Swanson's head. But Big Sexy pulls his feet out, gets him to the ground momentarily. 
Yeah, good job by Lemos to get back to his feet there. Able to limp leg out of that takedown. Uh-oh. And now, tit for tat. One <laughs> oh, goes man. low for Swanson. One goes low for Lemos. And, you know, it, in my opinion, it, it wasn't malicious or anything like that. Again, when you have this height difference, he was, looked like he was trying to go to the inside of the leg there. Rode up too high, went to the groin. My goodness. Looks well, like Lemos is back to his feet a little early. That's good. It's something that happens, unfortunately, in mixed martial arts when you're trying to beat up the legs of your opponent. We've seen it with the low kicks. Yep. We've seen it with the knees. Lemos takes a little bit less time recovering than Swanson did. I mean. Back to the action we go. Heavyweight affair between Billy Big Sexy Swanson and Giacomo, the Viking Lemos. Once again, Swanson able to grab a hold of Lemos mid-combination, turn him against the cage. More careful placement of those inside knees now. Lemos reverses position. Kenny, when we talk about some of the size differences in, in, in weight classes in the sport of mixed martial arts, everyone weighs in at the limit, whether they're lightweights or welterweights. Not so in the heavyweight division. Right. Billy Swanson came in right at the limit. Giacomo Lemos in the 220s? I mean, that's a guy who could probably make 205 if he really felt like it. So will the size difference become a factor in this fight as Jacobo Lemos tries to carry the weight of Billy Swanson. And of course, Billy Swanson has to carry that weight himself. It's a great point. And it, I think it will be a factor as you start to go into the later rounds. Again, you are, it's fine moving a guy that size, maybe the first round for, you know, seven minutes. But as you get to the middle of that second round, that will wear on you. Moving 260 pounds that does not want to be moved uh, is a very difficult thing. And again, on fight night, he could be even heavier. You know, we could have Swanson around 285 pounds, 290 tonight. If only we had someone on the celebrity panel who knew what it was like to try and move around much <laughs> larger bodies. <laughs> do you know of anyone? Uh, uh, oh, there he is, Randy I'm, Couture. I, I've never had to do that, <laughs> ever. <laughs> I think the key is training, and I'm sure that Lemos has had a bunch of big guys in, in camp. He's practiced round after round after round, getting worst case scenarios, pushing guys, being on the fence, moving that kind of weight. If he's, I mean, anybody who's operating in the heavyweight division has got to find big partners and, and simulate the fight as best they can. Nice pummeling here against the cage. Big sexy Billy Swanson doesn't want to keep his back against that barrier. Lamos good head position and then throws a right hand behind it. And Sean, to go back to the weight issue, you know, it's not only a factor for grappling, but again, you know, taking shots from a heavier man, never a good thing, right? Two, two masses colliding, that heavier mass will have a greater impact. And on the flip side of that coin is the smaller man often throws with higher volume, perhaps right. lands more punches. Faster. And yeah. so you get this trade-off, right? You, we saw that from Bruno Capelosa. Oh. Nice momentum shift there. And this is a good way to finish the round when you have a round that was pretty even, a lot of exchanges there from that clinch. And it was Swanson who ended up getting the takedown and gets right into side control. He's landing some good grounded pound here. And now he'll try and push the right arm of Lemos down and, oh. excuse me, the left arm of Lemos down for this shoulder lock. What an upset it would be if he was able to submit Lemos here. Swanson with only five seconds to pull this thing off. Lemos holding on for dear life and saved by the bell, perhaps. Strong finish there for big, sexy Billy Swanson. Fighters go back to their corner after a really interesting first round. Punctuated Kenny Florian by a couple of pauses on the fouls. Yeah, here they are exchanging in the clinch. And it was the Judoka Lemos looking for a takedown here, but it was reversed. Beautiful lateral drop there from Billy Swanson. Has that wrestling background. Really prides himself on grinding out wins, and he may have to do that tonight here against Lemos. So don't get too excited in there. 
Vamos. Respira. Respira. Água. Água. Seconds out from the beginning of round number two, as Lauren signifies cage side. Referee will ask for some spillage to be cleaned up in the corner. Ready to start round number two here. Swanson lands oh. a right hand, slips and rips that one. Nice movement off the combination there from Lemos, who goes down to the body. Oh. And a combination from Lemos lands. Yeah, excellent combination there from Lemos. But Swanson with a legendary chin, able to withstand those shots. And another right hand from Swanson, answered back by Lemos, who now backs up Big Sexy. Oh, that oh. puts him down! Giacomo Lemos goes to work with the hammer fist, and the referee waves that one off! Wow. Excellent combination there from Lemos. It seemed like Swanson wanted to continue. I'm not sure those were huge follow-up shots, but those shots certainly dropped him, Sean. Well, Ian Parker told us he thinks there will be three first round finishes tonight, and the only one that will go into the second round was this fight. Mm. Now, he took a risk and he picked the underdog, which didn't end up playing, but there it is. It was a jab that dropped Billy Swanson after the right hand maybe landed on the ear. We'll get a closer look at the replays and speak to the winner when we come back on Fubo TV. And Sean O'Connell has the official announcement. Sean? Referee Marcos Perez calls a stop to this bout 33 seconds into the second round, declaring your winner by TKO, Jacobo Lemos. All right, the Viking victorious in his PFL debut. I know you came in here looking to make a statement. Is that the statement you wanted to make? Victorious aqui na sua primeira luta na PFL, você falou que queria vir aqui hoje e fazer e deixar sua marca. Sua marca foi deixada. Sem dúvidas, quando o Viking entra no octagon, a certeza é que a gente não precisa de juízes. São oito vitórias, nenhuma por decisão dos juízes. Absolutely. When the Viking steps inside the cage. You know one thing, there's, there's, no, there's no need for a judge. It's eight wins, eight stoppages. So I saw the, the right hand landed, but then it was the jab that actually put him down. Did that feel like the knockout punch for you? A mão direita encaixou, mas foi o jab que, que derrubou ele. O que, 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 que você achou disso? É, eu aproveitei e utilizei a longa distância, como o mestre Rangel Farias falou ali no intervalo do corner. É, eu demorei para aquecer, levei uns 5 minutos, não estou acostumado a treinar, a lutar no, no frio, né, no estúdio, como agora, mas a hora que eu me soltei, eu consegui utilizar a longa distância e consegui o um nocaute. Yeah, uh, it was, I, I used the, the long distance that Master Rangel Farias uh, told me to, to use in between the first and second round. Uh, it took, it took me a little longer to, you know, to, to get, the, get my mojo and to feel the fight. I, I feel like it's a little cold here, a little colder than it's usually uh, I usually feels in my fight, so glad I got the job done. All right, you jumped onto the cage to talk to the celebrity panel. Well, now well, let's see what they have to say about your performance. JSP, what do they have to say? Sean Giacomo Lemos is now undefeated in eight straight fights. He gets a knockout in his U.S. debut. Randy, what gave him the edge in this fight? Giacomo, I think he did a good job by not judging a book by its cover. You weren't overconfident. You didn't look past. Uh, <laughs> I lost to Billy, and and you really stayed focused and, and found a way and, and the rhythm to get where you needed to be, and it was it was impressive. Great job, Lolo. As a competitor, in what way did Giacomo stand out? 
Well, first, I gotta say, I don't think the ref should have stopped the fight. I mean, Swanson was protecting his head. I think it was a quick stoppage. But what I want to say is that Lemos did a great job of just staying calm after the first round. He went back to his corner, talked to his team, and they just reevaluated the situation. And he realized that that long distance, like, that was his way to just execute. And once he did that, it was game over. Night and day difference, and it's very hard to shift gears in the middle of a battle. So well done. Vitor Lemos has six knockouts. How do you think he would fare in the PFL? I think Giacomo Lemos came to take over the territory. As a Viking, he literally came with that mentality. And that's what PFL want. We want that mentality, that fighters that really wanted to come to take over. Giacomo, congratulations for you and your team. Very well execute your plan. And we're looking forward to see you very soon on that cage again. Three incredible fights, Sean. What's next? Well, before we let the Viking get out of the cage, uh, his jiu-jitsu coach has one extra thing for him, a victory tonight and a jiu-jitsu black belt to go right along with it. The Viking awarded his black belt inside of our cage, which I believe is a PFL Challenger Series first. The Viking victorious, three winners already in the books, one more fight to go, and one contract awarded at the end of the night. An emotional Viking celebrating his victory with the team.